and welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and hopefully explain it in a really simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most I'm going to try to tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. This episode is a follow on episode from one a couple weeks back. So I did an episode on reflection and the law of reflection, so today I'm going to cover refraction. Let me just begin with two definitions that will make this episode a bit easier. So an opaque object is an object that is not see-through, like a wooden door. Can't see through it. And opposite to that, a transparent object is an object that you can see through, like glass. So my reflection episode covered what happens when light hits an opaque object, like the door or a mirror. Light can't travel through anything that's not see-through. It will reflect off it. And there are different types of reflection based on how smooth or shiny that opaque object is. For more information on this, please watch my reflection episode. It lays down a lot of the basic information for this one. So go back and watch that one first. But refraction is where the light hits a transparent object, like glass. So light can travel through see-through objects, and that's when refraction occurs. To begin with, in this context, a medium is any substance that the light wave travels through. I've often used the word medium before, so hopefully you already know what it means. But it gets used a lot in this episode, so I just wanted to clarify it. So, as I stated earlier, light will travel through transparent material, but it won't travel through anything opaque. <laughs> when light travels from one transparent medium to another, it bends, and this is called refraction. If you've watched my reflection episode, watch it! Well, then you should remember my light ray diagram. This shows an incident light ray hitting a reflective surface and producing a reflected light ray bouncing off the material at the exact same angle. However, if we take this diagram and we replace the reflective surface with a transparent material, refraction will happen instead. So the light ray will still travel towards and hit the surface of another medium. And we can still draw the normal at this point where the light hits and at 90 degrees to the surface. But this time we draw the normal all the way through to the other side of the surface because the light will travel through as well. Now, there are two very important rules we need to learn today. Thinking caps on. The first is that when light goes from a less dense medium to a more dense medium, the light bends towards the normal. For example, air is less dense than glass, so when the light ray travels through the air and hits the glass surface, the light ray will immediately bend towards the normal. And likewise, the other way round, when light goes from a more dense medium to a less dense medium, the light will bend away from the normal. So, if the light was travelling through glass and then hit the air, the light would bend away from the normal. I've tried to make up a rhyme to help remember which way round it is, so it's really rubbish, but it's the best I could do, so please bear with. Here we go. Less to more means you go for. And more to less means you digress. Way, wasn't that good? Right, so all this happens because light travels at different speeds throughout different materials. So in my light year video, I said that light travels at the same speed throughout air, throughout water, and throughout space. Now technically, this was not 100% true. Through water, it actually travels slightly slower. It still travels at like 225 million meters per second. So still incredibly fast, but not quite 300 million meters per second. And it's this difference of the speed of light through different materials that causes refraction. In glass, light travels at 200 million meters per second. 
I know these don't seem like huge differences because the numbers are so big, but they do make a difference and it results in the light refracting. And another handy tip, the bigger the difference in the density between the materials, the more the light will bend. Let's try one more example to check that we've all got it. Let's continue with the water example then. And water is more dense than air. So what happens if light is travelling through the water and then hits the air? Well, if you remember the rhyme, more to less means you digress, then the light ray will be travelling through the water and when it hits the air, it will digress. So it will travel away from the normal. Whereas, if the light ray was travelling from the air to the water, then this is from less dense to more dense. And if you remember, less to more means you go four. So the light ray will hit the water and bend towards the normal. Huh. The rhyme wasn't so bad after all. I hope this is clear. Oh, transparent pun and has helped explain what refraction is and why it happens. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.